Oh, hey, Mighty Warriors. Hey, how did you get into my daydream about blazing away the day stranded on a tropical island? Does anyone else like tropical islands? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I feel like I belong here. Well, I'm going to stick around here for a while if you want to hang out. But um, if you decide to, well, the first thing I'm going to do, I have a really, really awesome friend called Mazzy. You might know her. <laughs> and if you do, you might have heard a lesson that she taught about putting God first in your day and how everything else fits into place around that. Um, I love that idea. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to pray, but it's also really important to like exercise. You know, I've been sitting around at home a lot. So I think I'm going to exercise and pray. Um, I'm going to do them both together. Okay. All right. If I'm going to do this and um, show you my um, interesting dance style, how about all of you guys get up too and join me? Oh, this is like way more fun than doing this on my own. Thanks guys. All right, let's get up. I'm so glad you're going to help me with my new invention. You heard it here first. We're going to praise the size. Praise the size. Let's do this. week and I've just been practicing. Ready? So I'll show you. It's actually like the first time I've done it. Oh no. <laughs> you saw me do it right once. It's John 316, the verse from last week. You probably all know it by now, but just in case you don't, let's see if you can remember it before I turn it over. But God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, not die, but have everlasting life. So cool, there it is. So what's the actual verse of the week? Okay, I'm about to tell you, ready? 
It's trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. From Proverbs 3, 5. So that's your verse of the week. Practice it if you can, because I'm going to quiz you on it next week. So the theme of this week is trust in the Lord. And I've got to finish before my egg timer runs out in three minutes. That's a little bit tricky for me, but we're going to do it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tell you a very, very quick story. It is going to be a quick story, you guys. <laughs> All right. So once there was a little kid, this could have been any of us. Probably, maybe most of us, it definitely happened to me. Playing with the ball, having so much fun, and their ball rolled out onto the road. Okay, so they're like, ah, oh, my ball, it's brand new. I just got it for my birthday. And they go running out after it. Then one of their parents comes running out and grabs them and pulls them back. And they just watch their ball go out onto the road where a car runs over it and flattens it and their present is ruined and they're devastated and they're just like how could my mom or my dad or my grandparent do that to me i mean that was my birthday present and they've ruined it because they didn't let me go out on the road and grab it before the car ran over it so what the little kid doesn't know is that Parents actually know, at that stage of their life, the parents know more than them about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and just imagine how much more God knows about, well, everything than us, because we're just a human being. But he's God, like he knows everything. So sometimes we might like pray for something or just wonder why something happens, but we just have to trust two things one thing is that he definitely knows more than us <laughs> and two that if we believe in god god is a god of love and if you believe in the same god as me and you believe that god is a god of love that he will only do things based in love so just like those parents that stopped their little kid from getting run over on the road and saved their life God can be saving our lives all the time. Well, he does. He saves them every day. But we don't, we're just like complaining because we're like, oh, we didn't get that thing that we wanted. It's just because God has a reason, even if we can't understand it sometimes, that is based in love for why he's doing what he's doing. So if we believe God is a God of love, that definitely helps us to trust the Lord with all of our heart and not trust our own understanding that's bigger than God's and if we believe that God is a God of love we know that everything he do is based in love and that definitely helps us to trust him can you believe I did it in almost under three minutes <laughs> I tried <laughs> okay now before I go back to relaxing on my imaginary island trusting in the Lord with all of my heart. <laughs> We've got one last thing to do. Then we're gonna have a praise song. And the last thing to do, it's a little thing I like to call the verse of the week, tip of the day. So before we wrap up for today, we've got someone who'd like to say their verse of the week, tip of the day. Hi everybody, my name's Eva and my tip of the day is to pray to God and trust in Him when we don't always have all the answers. Things might be a little bit confusing for you or you might seem a little bit scared or sad why we can't see our friends at school anymore. And it's okay to feel that way but we need to remember that God is so big and so strong and so mighty and that He's got the whole world in His hands. We need to pray to Him and trust in Him and remember that He's got it. And the verse of the week is to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean on your own understanding. Hi, oh, thank you, Eva. Have an awesome week, Mighty Warriors. Time to sing.
like anything can happen Can't hardly wait to see what's next I wanna face this world with wonder and excitement Face every challenge every day